Irish boy band Westlife played out their most prominent hits to a stuffed Wembley Stadium on Saturday night, exciting fans, the sold-out show, including numbers like major 1999 hit Flying Without Wings, was important for their Wild Dreams tour, it was whenever in the diagram first Garnish band set of experiences that they have played at the renowned London scene, Mark Feehilly, Shane Fillon, Nicky Byrne. Kean Egan and Brian McFadden tracked down notoriety with Westlife in the wake of framing. In 1998, they disbanded in 2012 following 14 years of achievement however rejoined in 2018 without McFadden, who left the band in 2004, and has since collaborated with Boyzone's Keith Duffy, Sophie Ellis Bexter and James Morrison took to the Wembley stage to proceed as stunning help acts before the Irish group of four entertained the group on Saturday night. Westlife, who have a colossal UK following, have sold in excess of 55 million records, this week Feehilly said that getting the Wembley gig almost 25 years into their music professions had taken our breath away a smidgen. He told ITV's This Morning on Friday, I think playing shows like this in Wembley Stadium is something that we've longed for since we were young men and to really be here now, I think for us it simply implies so a lot, almost 25 years into our profession to play a sold-out Wembley Stadium, Phelan concurred that at last playing Wembley was a huge accomplishment for the gathering, saying, We've played arenas all around the world however Wembley Stadium is likely the most popular arena on the planet. Furthermore, I assume once you play the arena you're in an extremely tip-top rundown of individuals that are sufficiently fortunate to play it and I clearly consider groups like Queen and that's what individuals like it's really extraordinary and we're exceptionally glad for it. It's a gigantic accomplishment for us.